Hey guys, today I'm going to do a demo slash review of Lush's Damaged Hot Oil Treatment. This is the first time I have ever used one of these, so this is going to be a first impression as well. Some of the supplies I used were clips, towels, a color bowl, and brush. You can stop and read the instructions, but basically you're going to take the treatment, add a couple ounces of boiling water till it's all off the stick. You're going to wear it for 20 minutes and then you're going to wash it with shampoo. And here I am boiling water. I'm sure you could probably use water in the microwave or a kettle, but this is just what I'm doing. Now that it's boiling, I turn down the temperature and I used a measuring cup to add to the bowl. It does take a while for the treatment to fully melt, so be patient with it. As you see here, it's almost done, but there are some little lumps, so I kept on adding the boiling water until the lumps were gone. So now I'm prepping to put it in my hair. I took off my hair accessory and brushed out my hair. Here is a little before shot so you can see what my hair texture is like before I apply the treatment. Now I'm a hairstylist so I have capes laying around. So I took one and put it on backwards, but you could totally use a larger towel and clip it. I did show the small towel, but I used that to wipe my hands off in between. Now I'm sectioning off my hair so I can make sure I saturate evenly. The sections I made were about that wide, and it was really easy to work with. I made sure to mix before I applied because it had sat there a little bit. I wanted to focus on my ends, so that's where I started applying, and I had enough on my brush that I could just sweep the rest upwards, and if I needed more, I would just go back in and apply where I needed to. You could totally use your hands for this. I just used a brush because I wanted to be more precise but just make sure it's cool enough for you to use it for your hands. After I was done saturating one section, I made two little ponytails on each side of my head just to make sure I was getting all my hair done. After I had the ends of my hair saturated, I would go back in and paint the roots. In this clip I already had all my hair done but I was just taking the extra and trying to use it all up. Once I put my hair up in this bun I took the extra and put it towards the back of my nape. This is optional but you can use a shower cap or a bag to keep all the heat in. Now that I have my cap on, I'm going to wait 20 minutes before washing out. Guys, this is my final thoughts of the Lush Damaged Hot Oil Treatment. 
I did it last night. I towel dried my hair and I styled it this morning by, by using my Babeless Pro Titanium Straightener. I also used Joyco Iron Clad Thermal Protectant Spray so I wouldn't use a protectant spray that was moisturizing so it wouldn't mess with my thoughts. When I woke up and brushed through my hair and I was getting ready to flat iron it, it was extremely soft. Almost as soft as when I got my Olaplex treatment, but obviously this one's not going to be as long wearing because eventually it will all just wash away, but I'm really impressed to be honest. From a professional, I was kind of iffy on trying it because it's not a professional brand, but it is all vegan and they don't test on animals. I think the main ingredient in this is avocado. There is extra virgin olive oil, almond oil, avocado oil, fragrance, citric acid, some vanilla that's in essential oils. So, you pretty much know everything that's on the ingredient list, so that's pretty cool. I'm not sure how much these cost. I'll put it in the video somewhere how much it costs. My mom gave me this, so I didn't pay for it. But I would buy another one and I believe there are different types like this is the damaged but I think they have different types of hot oil treatments which is really interesting um, the smell of this one wasn't my favorite it wasn't bad but it just wasn't my favorite so I'm interested to see if the other ones smell different but I'll do a close-up on my hair like I did in the beginning to see if you can tell the difference And the before I had straightened hair and I have straightened hair in this one and I use the same heat protectant so let me know if you could tell the difference I do feel like I still need a trim like this isn't a miracle product that just sealed all my split ends and stuff but it does feel really soft and I was using my wet brush and it just went through like butter like more than usual it just was so effortless to brush and I really enjoyed it if you like this type of video of me testing products that aren't technically professional let me know and I'll give you my opinion on it I hope you enjoyed this if you liked it please leave a thumbs up subscribe and I'll talk to you later mm -hmm.